Stunning video revealing the Titanic's shocking state of decay on the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. Look at these pictures with me as we look at this uh, dramatic video from this manned dive to the famous wreckage, uh, the first dive in 14 years. Divers discovering the Titanic's remains are being quickly devoured by the ocean itself by metal eating bacteria. The Titanic wreckage now disintegrating into powder form and on track to fully disappear within two decades. The diving team making five expeditions to the Titanic wreckage earlier this month. So with me now, underwater explorer Tim Taylor, who knows the diving team that shot this new Titanic video and you have some pretty uh, stunning explorations, you know, and stories you could tell. But first, just looking at that video and seeing the, the, the decay, yeah, does it, it surprise you? It does not, doesn't surprise me. The, the, the submarines that we found in the recent years all have the same type of decay. Uh, Mother Nature claims claims things back and that's what happens, whether it's terrestrial or underwater. Uh, this just happens to be a, a unique bacteria that eats metal and or iron. So. so before we get into should they take it back up to the surface or can they, what are the challenges of going that deep? It's like 12,500 feet. Well, uh, the challenges um, are pressure, okay? You're dealing with large, tremendous amounts of pressure. Uh, typically, uh, in today's submarine and exploration world, there's very few submersibles that can do that. Uh, the new one that these guys are using was built uh, uh, by uh, Patrick Leahy and his team in in uh, on Florida, and it's it goes full ocean depth, and it doesn't just do it once like like past expeditions have done it. It it's repeated it. 30, 30, oh, 30 plus times now. It's a real tool to get down to ocean depths. So uh, it, it's expensive. It mm -hmm. takes time. Uh, there's risk because you're using manpower. I use robotics mostly in my work. So when you put in a person in there, there's a, there's a whole another element of, of safety and, mm -hmm. and, and things you want to consider because of, because of the consequences. So when you look at the remainders of this precious ship and of course the story and the history, uh, how do they bring it back up or preserve it? It's an archaeological site, right? Yeah. So if it's terrestrial or underwater, archaeology is a destructive force, just as, as grave robbing is a destructive force. But what archaeology does is it brings back knowledge and baseline data and artifacts that are preserved for people to see what was there for years. So uh, it, it, it's a it's a big debate in, in the world. Do you leave it as a war grave? Because some people grave see it grave? as grave right. robbing, but right. you would argue archaeology is, the, is all about... Um, Protecting it, protecting, preserving it, telling the story, posterity, of future, and 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 there's two camps to that. Okay, so some families want to see the, the the remains up. Some families, you know, don't. As time wears on and less, you know, direct descendants are are involved, it tends to be more of an archaeological uh, it swings that way a little bit. So. What do you think? I mean, is it possible that one could eventually see the Titanic above ground somewhere? I, I, I don't think it'll ever be raised, but yeah. I, I do I do see. Uh, some importance in bringing back properly uh, artifacts and having them available, but that costs. So uh, companies that go out to do this kind of work, uh, you know, they, they, they have to fund it somehow. So usually it's in, in museums or presentations yeah. or things of that nature. How about that? Yeah. Tim Taylor, right. thank okay. you very much. Welcome.